for a while, we didn't know very much at all about Splatoon 3 single player. The, the only things I really saw anyone talking about were the following. Oh my god, Squid Sisters, Agent 3, Hula Shirt, Cuttlefish, HOLY! It's like, I swear, if this thing is just a normal hero mode again, I will- Believe me, DJ Octavio will be on our side and Mr. Grizz will be the villain! Nah, it's just gonna be Octavio again. With the Splatoon 3 Direct a while back, we learned a bit more about the new story mode. With less than a week before we finally get to play it, I wanted to talk about my predictions for it. I don't have too many things to say, but this has been on my mind for a while now, so I wanted to make a short video talking about it. First, we already know from old trailers that the new Agent 3 might get to use a larger variety of weapons like in the Octo expansion, as they've been showing holding a sloshing machine and a dapple dualies. We now know that it seems that the old hero mode stages where you basically just hold forward and shoot for a couple minutes, maybe occasionally hopping, are back. But we also have some Octo expansion style stages, such as this one which features the Zipcaster. We know Little Body will play some role in this all, as we can throw them at the weird piles of mammalian goo that are less than friendly to Agent 3, and Body will simply vore it. We see Agent 3 do this in Nulturna, which by the way looks amazing, aesthetically speaking. There is, of course, more confirmed, but these are the things that most interest me. One thing that isn't confirmed that I just really like is this. We know in Splatoon 3, the original Agent 3 is slightly much older now. We know they're at least 18, but looking at how much merch has grown and given that Captain Cuttlefish is not retired and the old Agent 3 is not a captain, I'm given the impression that the events in Splatoon 3 take place a bit more after Splatoon 2, so they would likely be in their 20s by now. I know this isn't likely because they're an old playable character and so we likely have little to no dialogue, but I would love it if they played a larger part in the story, perhaps acting as a mentor to the new Agent 3, since they'd have so much experience and knowledge having been an agent for so many years. Do I think this will be good or not? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it will be, and the Zipcaster stages look really fun, so I'm inclined to say it'll be pretty good, or at least okay. I'm not as excited about it as I wish I could be, but I don't expect it to be as, as disappointing as with Splatoon 2. Let me know what you all think in the comments and have a lovely day.